What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vault. Uh, hope you all had a good week and you're all having a fantastic weekend. Uh, the film I will be reviewing uh, this evening uh, is Glass. Let's just jump straight into it. Uh, this one opens with a reintroduction to the many personalities of Kevin Crumb uh, before we get a pretty cool opening credit sequence. Uh, pretty much all of the cast from the previous two films return for this one uh, with some new additions. Uh, Bruce Willis uh, reprises his role as uh, David Dunn and gives a strong yet stoic performance. Uh, Samuel Jackson uh, returns as the popular Mr. Glass and it's honestly great to see him interact with Willis once again. Uh, the standout however came from James McAvoy uh, who gives an outstanding performance. I mean the guy literally plays 20 different characters alone and transitions between each one seamlessly. Just a really talented cast all around. Um, the story is a continuation on from Unbreakable and Split and does a decent enough job in merging the three films together. Uh, the story, however, is unfortunately uh, extremely sporadic and does not pace well at all. Uh, there are a couple scenes also that were not really needed at all for the overall story and, and plot. Uh, the film does excel, though, in its portrayal of comic books and the superhero genre. It, it grounded the whole thing in a sense of realism and psychology. This isn't enough to save the story, unfortunately, though. Uh, what little comedy uh, there is comes from James McAvoy uh, when he's playing the character of Hedwig. Uh, there's not really much Hedwig in the film, though. Uh, the action sequences are few, but entertaining enough. I did find myself wishing for more destruction and collateral damage, you know, when, when, the, big show, when the big showdown inevitably you know, came about. Um, and lastly, M. Night Shyamalan is a talented, talented director. I mean, he knows how to frame a shot and, and add in interesting twists and character, character dynamics. However, I feel like with this film, he is past his prime. Uh, Unbreakable and Split were such well thought out films, but I feel like he overreached and, and just tried to pull too much in uh, with this one. Uh, my issues with this film are many, as I've already gone on about in this review. I think the biggest one, though, has to be the hammy and just downright awful acting, bar McAvoy, of course, because he was fantastic, uh, which, again, is a shame because the, the acting was so strong in the previous two films. Um, the only thing I really took from this was that I'm kind of in love with Anna Taylor-Joy. Uh, she can read my comic books any day. Uh, so we have it, guys. There is my very short review for Glass. Let's jump to the two most important questions. Uh, question number one. Would I recommend this film? I honestly would not recommend this film, um, purely because there are films released this week and the week before that are just much better in terms of storytelling and just overall quality than this film. However, if you have seen Unbreakable and Split and you really enjoyed those films and you want to see this film, I recommend watching it. You may enjoy it more than I did, but I personally would not recommend this film. Um, question number two, does this film blog in the vault? I unfortunately have to say that no, it doesn't belong in the vault. Uh, a lot in this film just felt very forced and and contrived. And they, I felt in the last, uh, say, 45 minutes to hour of the film, there were a lot of things, you know, that kind of led nowhere and a lot of things that were just kind of, you know, kind of shoehorned in, uh, you know, um, and just kind of hurt the story overall one prime example of this is there are multiple scenes of you know where this big showdown is going to take place um that big showdown doesn't take place where they are planning for it to take place instead it takes place in front of you know the the insane asylum you know where they are being kept um so i just felt like that was a, a huge huge MacGuffin, and you didn't even really need um uh those scenes and those scenes just made the overall film feel longer and more bogged down and you know just kind of uh, just not not great you know uh so for that reason this film will not be going into the vault so there's that little poop star has gone off and it's shattered somewhere like mr glass's bones ooh yeah i went there mm, mm. um there we have it guys um if you've seen the film and you liked it, let me know what you liked about it, you know, down in the comments below. You know, I'm always interested to hear other people's opinions, you know, there may be things that I missed about the film. If you've seen the film and you didn't like it, again, let me know why down in the comments below. 
Uh, and as always, guys, if you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with everybody that you know. Uh, and until the next one, peace and love, my dudes.